Live from Auto Rink in North Andover, Massachusetts, it's Merrimack College women's hockey action as the Merrimack Warriors get set to take on the Holy Cross Crusaders. Pass intended for uh, Bryn Sorella. Merrimack able to get a chance there, and as Holy Cross works the puck down low, and they'll look for space. To the half wall it comes, now below the goal line, a chance in front shot, save Gorski. Warriors in this streak of losing five in a row, they have been outscored 24 to eight. So Merrimack trying to increase their offensive production. Steal here, score! Corneliuson with the steal. She'll get the unassisted goal at 6-13. Merrimack is on the board. They lead it 1-0. If you're a player, what you like to do for your team and your head coach is if you take a penalty, you want to come back and try to score and do something or create the scoring opportunity. Turnover right there, steal by Corneliuson. Top corner, great job by Hannah, goal number four of the season for her. And the Warriors get the first blood. 6.13, the time is just, you know, your whole idea this afternoon is you allegedly have some sort of edge and rest. Holy Cross gets the position down low, and it's a goal here for Darcy Johal. She just came off the wall. That was a power move. She tucked it right between the pads of Emma Gorski and on the power play. It only took him 14 seconds, Brock. We're all tied at one. So at 8.45, we're tied up, as you said, 1-1. One, one. Somebody's got to get Joe Hall. She goes to the net. Deflected wide as Engels had time and space. Now in the slot for Kaufman with a drive. And the save is made by Beckett. Longfell's down to play it for Holy Cross. The handle of McKinley in the slot shot blocked. Second try rolls in on Beck and she'll cover it up for the face off. Didn't need to say who that was, John. Number 10, we well, you know, who's camped out in the slot. Katie Kaufman, look where she is right here. Got her camera right at the top of the screen there to the right of the screen. Again, straight on shot. A couple of good looks. Uh, Katie Kaufman outside the near circle. Smithson rotates it back up on top. Fortunato back over to Smithson. Fire circle in front. Edmonds with a backhand chance. Save. Gorski rebound. Score. Edmonds fired the first shot. Gorski got a piece of it. And it looked like Darcy Johal knocks it in for her second of the game. Two to one Holy Cross. Johal's second and second power play goal of the afternoon. You play with fire, you will get burned. And the loose puck is taken over for Holy Cross by Bryn Sorella. Puck shift toward the line. Sorella gets it out to the Merrimack line. Here comes a breakaway. Attempt Fortunato. Shot score. Emily Fortunato, who just got out of the penalty box, picks up a loose puck. And at 15-56, it's now a 3-1 lead for the Crusaders. Each team has had this scenario come up where the player who serves the penalty and after a penalty kill comes out of the penalty box and here's Fortunato out of the penalty box and you see her there head was up the whole time looking to see what Emma Gorski left open comes uh, over to Carmen Elliott quick shot here score Sorella with the wrist shot third power play goal of the game for Holy Cross it comes at 412 of the third period and if the Warriors weren't in trouble before, Brock, they sure are now. Big trouble, great shot by Sorella. Nice slap, snapshot. Take a look here, the puck movement. There's Sorella. Circles, nobody open, so I'm just going to take a little wrist snapshot. And that beats Emma Gorski. And Holy Cross will tap it out. Sorella in the Merrimack Zone. Crusaders on the verge of their first road win. They're going to get it. As it's close, puck is tapped in here as Gorski made the initial save. The puck kind of popped in the air, and it was Alexia Moreau who was there to tap it home, and that's going to put the finishing touches on a pretty convincing Holy Cross win here today, Brock. No question about it. Number six of the season for Moreau from Louisville, Quebec, Stansted College, another one of them, that little pop shot right there. Don't need to be fancy. Just pop right over the goaltender who's down. Time continues to tick down. So a decisive victory by the Holy Cross Crusaders. Brock, a pretty complete effort on the road. And the Crusaders are in the win column on the road for the first time.